A Gaussian mixture model, also known as GMM, is a statical model used to describe data distribution. It assumes that the data can be represented as a combination of multiple Gaussian distributed models, each with its own mean and variance. In practice, this means that we can model complex distributions such as the distribution of test scores or income by combining multiple simple distributions such as distribution of a test score of girls and for boys. Using GMM to model a distribution allows us to capture the complexity of the data and describe it more accurately. This can be particularly used in machine learning application, where we often deal with complex and high dimensional data sets. Let's now deeply understand the Gaussian mixture model and Gaussian mixture distribution. So without any further ado, let's jump on to our topic. But wait, to succeed in this rapidly expanding field, you need to develop the right skill if you want to boost your career in the field of ML. Then take up our Caltech postgraduate program in AI and ML partnership with IBM that will help you become an expert in AI and ML. This course covers the latest tools and technologies and features master classes by Caltech faculty and IBM experts. Hackathon and Ask Me session are also there. These are a few reasons you should consider learning machine learning. Now. Enroll in Caltech Postgraduate Program in AI and ML and become an ML Engineer. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Now, let's start this video and see what is Gaussian Mixture Model. A Gaussian Mixture Model is a probabilistic model representing data as a mixture of multiple Gaussian distributions. It is a mixture model because it assumes that a data points are generated from a mix of Gaussian distribution each associated with a certain probability. In GMM, each Gaussian distribution represents a component or cluster within the data. The model assumes that the data points within each cluster are generated from a Gaussian distribution with its mean and covariance. The GMM, which is known as Gaussian mixture model, combines these component distribution with mixture weight to form the overall probability distribution of the data. So now, Let's see the key components of Gaussian mixture model. So the number one is number of components also known as clusters. The GMM assumes that the data is a mixture of specific number of Gaussian distributions also known as components or clusters. The number of components is typically determined in advance or estimated by using techniques such as model selection. Next we have Gaussian distribution. Each component in the GMM is represented by a Gaussian distribution. A Gaussian distribution, also known as normal distribution, is a bell-shaped curve fully described by its mean and covariance. The mean represents the center of the distribution and the covariance determines the spread or shape. The third one is mixture's weight. The GMM assigns mixture's weight to each component representing the probability of selecting that component when generating a data point. These weight must sum up to 1. The mixture weight determine the collaboration of each component to the overall distribution. So, by using a Gaussian mixture model involves estimating the model parameters including the means, covariance and mixture weights. This is typically done through an interactive optimization algorithm like the exceptional maximization algorithm. The EM algorithm alternates between the estimating the possibilities of each component for each data point and updating the model parameters based on the responsibilities. The algorithm continues until convergence where the parameters reach a stable state. Once the G is trained, it can be used for various tasks. For example, it can be applied to clustering by assigning data points to the most likely component or cluster. It can also be used for density estimation where it estimates the underlying probability distribution of the data. Now, let's see what are some real world examples where Gaussian mixture model can be used. Gaussian mixture model also known as GMMS are versatile tool that find application in various real world scenarios. They are particularly useful when dealing with large data sets where identifying clusters is challenging. GMMS excel at efficiently discovering clusters of Gaussian outperforming clustering algorithms like k-means. 
Now, here are some practical examples of how Gaussian mixture model can be applied. The first one is medical data set analysis. Gaussian mixture model can segment medical images or identify patterns within data sets. By clustering patients based on similar symptoms, GMMS can assist in detecting diseases, subtypes, predicting outcomes and relieving quizzes and revealing previously unknown patterns in large scale patient records. Next we have modeling natural phenomena. GMMS are suitable for modeling natural phenomena with Gaussian distribution observed in the noise. This modeling approach assumes an underlining unobserved entities or attributes with measurements taken at central point across multiple observation sessions. Next we have customer behavior analysis. Gaussian mixture models are valuable in marketing for analyzing customer behavior. By leveraging historical data, GMMS can predict future purchases, enabling businesses to tailor their market strategies and get more efficiently. Next one is Stock Price Prediction. Gaussian mixture models find applications in finance, especially in analyzing stock price time series. They can identify challenge points within the data, helping detect turning point in stock price or other market movements that might be obstacled by volubility and noise. Next, we have gene expression data analysis. Gaussian mixture models are employed in gene expression data analysis. They can be utilized to identify differentially expression genes between two conditions and determine which genes may be due to specific phenomenon type or disease states. Now, let's see the implementation of the Gaussian mixture model. Now, to do this small demo, I have taken an iris data set. Okay. In Python, there is Gaussian mixture class to implement GMM. Load that uh, iris data set and then we are good to go. First thing we're going to import is our NumPy, which is a library of Python. Okay. So we'll write import NumPy as NP. In next line, we have to import Panda. So we'll write import Panda as PD. And after that, we'll import matplotlib. We'll write import matplotlib dot plot as plt. Okay. Okay. Till then, I guess it's fine for you guys. Yeah. So now we'll write from pandas we will import data frame okay after that from scikit learn which is sk learn we'll write it we'll from sk learn we'll import data set okay and then again from sklearn dot mixture will import Gaussian mixture. Now we'll load the Irish data set. For that we'll write Irish the name and then data set that we just now imported from sklearn we'll write data sets dot load because we need to load that uh, data and we'll write this this function sign after that we'll give it a variable x and irish dot data from so the semicolon we just wrote is for everything like all the data when we have to show all the data we'll write this imagine there is a array of seven uh, things 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and you want everything of that array so we'll use this keyword and if you want only out of that seven if you want only five so we'll write here 
comma and then we'll write 2. So what it this will show us only 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Yeah. Now we'll write D which is PD dot data frame. You will see we'll get the data frame from X that we just declare. So this is for the turn into a data frame for like turning into my data into a data frame okay now we have to plot the data for that we'll write plot dot scatter and then we'll write d of 0 of 1 right and then we'll say plot show and now let's see if it works or not okay it's showing me one error so let's see okay got it it's my mistake now let's run it again it's showing my plot lib error again let's see if i am not doing any spelling mistakes here okay let's give it a chance again again some error is there oh yeah as your mixture should be in capital everything looks fine this time yeah so you can see the data now you will see the data of these flowers irish flowers it's like everything is mixed you can't identify which one is which and you can't identify the exact things that you want to see in this data so for that Cassian mixture uh, comes in so with this method we'll see the difference between the things that we want to see in the data Okay, so we'll click on the plus sign and we'll write mm Gaussian mixture model equals to sign and Gaussian is showing us and we are n to components equals to 3. Yeah. So we'll find the GMM model for the, this data set and with the 3 Gaussian distribution so that we can see the different colors for every uh, data set in this so we'll give gmm dot fit and the data frame of the data and now we'll just assign a label to each sample okay so for that we'll write label equals to gmm dot predict the data data now we'll give this data a label that will write the label labels equals label okay and we'll this line and write d0 and we'll give this d0 label so that we can identify it later at which one is the data of ours okay so we'll again write labels equals to zero okay so this one is for zero and we'll copy this and we'll paste it three times yeah so because we have taken the components three if it's more we can use more also so we have to change the value of d1 d2 and here also we have to change the values or the output will be not come like what we want the output to be okay till now we have assigned the label okay now we'll move forward we'll plot three clusters in same plot okay so for that we'll write plot dot scatter from d0 to comma d0 and then 1 and we'll make this as red we have to write this red in the column so the color should be shown on the screen okay so we can just copy this line and paste it one two and three 
okay so we'll change the value here of d from d1 to d2 and we'll change the color to make it as green okay now as i can see everything looks good now we'll execute this code and you will see okay what i have missed here check again okay we have to change the color of this let's make it as yellow okay now let's execute this it's again showing us one error for the fit gmm dot fit d let me check again now as you can see we have the output and in this output you can clearly see that this data which was previously like this where we can't see which data is for what and now with this Gaussian mixture method we can see all the output in different colors so we can say that this method helps us very much and print the coverage log like uh, hood value and number of iteration needed for the model to coverage okay so we need execute a little more code to get the value of that so for that we'll write print Gaussian mixture model lower bound in here and we'll write print gnm dot n yes okay now let's run this and now you have the output date and it's the value of that output okay hence uh, there are seven iterations for the log like hood to coverage so in summary gaussian mixture model represents data as a mixture of gaussian distribution model the model parameters including the number of components mean covariance and mixture weight are estimated using techniques like the expectation maximization algorithm in mixture model can be used for clustering data into groups and estimating the probability density function of the data so with this we have reached the end of this video make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to simply learns youtube channel thank you staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.